PMDT, Power Monitoring and Diagnostic Technology. A specialist in online partial discharge testing for electric power substations. Online PD testing is a pre-outage insulation inspection, which is performed on live, energized, medium or high voltage power equipment without a service interruption or outage. Partial discharge is a localized dielectric breakdown of a small portion of solid or fluid electrical insulation system which is under high voltage stress. According to IEEE Gold Book, insulation failure is the cause of 80% of power equipment failures. Online PD testing provides valuable information about insulation condition even when there is no opportunity for an outage to perform conventional tests. OLPD detects and precisely locates insulation defects such as corona, surface tracking, arcing, voids, and floating electrodes. These issues are related to AC voltage stresses. In fact, partial discharges are completely driven by voltage and do not require a load or high current in order to become active. The information from online PD testing is becoming increasingly vital to asset managers in the transmission and distribution industry, which faces many challenges including more stringent reliability requirements and the tightening of maintenance budgets. PMDT provides the diagnostic solutions, field testing services, and the education and training necessary to meet these challenges. PMDT's flagship product, the P Detector, is the perfect solution for online PD testing in substations. It uniquely includes all three types of radio frequency sensors and both types of ultrasonic sensors. It also has the diagnostic power of phase resolved measurements which compare the timing of incoming pulses to the AC power frequency. This instantly eliminates background noise which is not synchronous to the 60 Hz AC sine wave. Phase resolved measurements are also used to determine the specific type or mechanism of discharge. This gives the P detector the versatility to test all types of substation apparatus using multiple techniques, quickly probing deeply and gathering conclusive information about the condition of any insulation type. This kit is the ideal partner for a condition-based maintenance program. Online PD testing can be implemented hand-in-hand -hand with infrared thermography. Complementary to IR, PD issues are not related to load current and do not produce heat necessarily. These discharges produce very short radio frequency pulses with a duration in the nanosecond range. PD also produces ultrasonic emissions. Because these discharges are very brief and only occur in a very small portion of the insulator, the insulator's bulk properties are relatively unaffected. The insulator may be able to pass a 10 delta or mega ohm test. These partial discharges can occur in various dielectric mediums, such as oil, porcelain, resins, and polymers. DGA tests play a key role in identifying many issues in transformers and other oil field equipment. However, when acetylene and arcing gases are rising, the precise location of the issue remains unknown. In this situation, 3D acoustic triangulation can be used to determine the precise location of the discharge. In addition to power transformer diagnostics, the online PD detection kit can be applied to power cables and their terminations and splices, medium voltage switch gear, SF6 circuit breakers, GIS, instrument transformers, bushings, overhead insulators, virtually any type of substation apparatus energized above 3 kV. No matter which device you're testing, you'll be able to use at least three sensors to get a complete picture of the insulation condition. First, use the UHF sensor to check for airborne radio frequency signals.
Then, apply the HFC T-sensor around the ground lead of the apparatus. Any nearby PD will induce high-frequency current pulses onto the ground lead, which can be measured with the HFC T. Then, use the ultrasonic sensors, the dish concentrator to measure airborne acoustic emissions, and the acoustic contact probe to measure There's an insulation problem. The P detector will find it. You notice V? It, it looks different. That's why I was wondering. 